just a quick update and I'm going to be cutting up my quilt. I'm not very good at sewing. <laughs> that one's how it, excuse me, you got hiccups, how it turns out. So quick update for those of you not on Facebook. Um, yesterday, yesterday, yeah, yesterday I went for my first counselling session which was all right but i kind of thought i was going to get emdr that's kind of what i asked for for the ptsd and stuffs but i'll i'll go it's a six week thingy and two of those are phone calls so i'll still go to it but in all honesty counseling is not really what i need now i did years ago but not now now i can quite openly tell you about the shit show that's been my life and uh, it's not that it's a uh, PTSD that comes from the shit show of life <laughs> that needs addressing, you know. So, um, anyway, I'll still continue with that. And I also got my appointment through for the results for my MRI. That was after I rang them on Monday and gave them a bit of a mouthful. So, uh, and that's not until the 15th of September, which is a whole other month away, which is just mental, absolutely mental. So I'm a bit feeling a bit crappy today. I've done some training. We start dogs running out field, chasing each other as they do. They love that. I'm gonna let them off. <laughs> Unfortunately, garden's not closed off here, so they have to be on long leads, which is not good. Um, but for their own safety, because both of them have had adventures already. <laughs> Louis keeps going underneath the van, so he's covered in freaking grease. All his back's covered in grease. <laughs> funny one yeah um so i've done that i've sorted some clothes out so i know where everything is because i didn't sort the clothes things out the other day when i did the sorting and i've found what three items and a couple of headbands that don't fit me because i've only got a little head because i've only got a tiny braid <laughs> um <laughs> for my friend jess when she comes up next month She'll love, uh, I've got this set, I've only ever worn it once, and it's like satiny, uh, I don't know what they're called, hippie vibe anyway, floaty, silky trousers, and underneath it's all attached as like uh, leggings that come to your knees, um, it's really pretty, but I can't wear it all like that anymore, my bloody belly, I need to fit. I need to get something like four sizes bigger to go over my fat belly. <laughs> and it hangs off me because I ain't got no boobs. Women problems. You men don't have these problems. You throw on a pair of joggers and a t-shirt and a pair of jeans and a t-shirt and you're ready to go, aren't you? When I come back, I'm coming back as a man. <laughs> uh, but, so I'm trying to keep my mind occupied. So I've, uh, I need a single quilt because... You already probably know, I've probably said it before, but I'm sleeping in my quilt, which is a double quilt that I had on Moby. And I'm burritoed, basically. So, I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. I wake up at night trying to move covers over and end up rolling onto my bad leg. So, I am, I'm going to cut the quilt up today and hope I don't do it too small. There he goes. Wish me luck. Quilt down. Right, let me see. Oh, we're really gonna cut my quilts. That should do it. What's that song by Rod Stewart? First cut is the deepest. Oh, Wish me luck. I hope these scissors will cut through. Another it. news. While I'm doing this, I'm boring you. I did. I'm gonna saw on the van. I'm going to sew on the van because it was meant to go in for MOT on Tuesday. But like Al said, what's the point of MOT in it now when you're not going to be able to drive it for at least another four, five, possibly six months, if not more? And uh, 
tax runs out in September anyway, at 1st September anyway. So if I'm going to sawn it, now would be a good time to sawn it. So I think he's right. And plus, then I can save that money, what I would be spending on the road tax every month. I can save that to go towards the MRT then when it's when I can drive again. And it is really difficult getting the van up where I'm parked. I mean, they moved van, I think it was the day before I moved here. And you could still smell burning from him trying to bloody reverse it, burning my brand new bloody clutch out, which has cost me 500 quid. And the brakes. So I think it'd be better to just leave it and then I can just run to my MOT place as, as down the road. He might even come and pick it up and take it. Because I don't know, I mean you might know guys, if it's sawn and I need to go get it to MOT place, can I drive it to MOT place? MO How would I get done? It's done! Ta-da! There it is. It's done now. Ooh, can't get my fingers out of scissors. So, if you ever wondered what your quilt looks like inside, it looks like that. It's like a fleecy, spongy thing. Right. So that's the size. What's left? I mean, that's not going to be big enough for anything. So that can just go in the bin. So now we've got to sew it. And I cannot I've got a handy it. needle and thread ready. Sew this badger now. I hope I cut it in the right place. And I can't lift a lot of material to sew it into. I made a very big long string. So what's going on with you guys anyway? It's my birthday tomorrow. 56. And for those of you that were around last year, <laughs> it's a bit of a party. And I wore this dress that I'd never worn before. And it was very, very see-through when I didn't have a bra on. And nobody, nobody told me until afterwards. Which was very embarrassing, I have to say. 55-year-old woman prancing around with her boobs hanging out. <laughs> Not the way I expected for my birthday to go. But being in a van with a mirror at the time that only came to my face, I couldn't see that. It's my excuse. And I'm sticking to it. We're a seamstress. I never had any interest in sewing. I did use to watch her sew. It's very meditative. And she used to have a sewing machine and make wedding dresses. Last stitch going in. Finally. I didn't film it all because it's taken me forever. Like I said, I'm not a seamstress. I'm trying to better wash this, put this through a washer now. Cascading it back into the thingy. Cover. While I was sewing, I remembered something else I've not told you guys. <laughs> I don't think I have anyway. If I have and I'm repeating myself, I apologise. <laughs> I finally got my V5. Yes! Got my V5! So at least I know now that you're on the vehicle. I'm not just putting money into it for someone else's benefit. So yeah, that was a big relief when that came. Right, I'm putting it together. I don't know. Yeah, got the ends. Got the ends. Can't wait till we get this van moved back a little bit because it's on a slope. It's not thrown with a gammy leg. <laughs> Just shake it out. Click it a click. So there you go. <laughs> oh, I'll be able to turn over without getting myself tied in a bloody knot. Hey, win! We have a win. Oh, that time we had a win. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting in that now tonight. No more. Getting tied up. Silly knots. 
Yes, I do put my pyjamas under my pillow. Somebody asked that question on the video over there. I can't remember who it was. But yes, I do. I don't see the point of putting it back into the cupboard with clean clothes if I'm going to wear them more than once. It don't make sense to me. Okay. Ta-da! It's not very neat, but I don't care. Alrighty. not to make that's it i hope you've enjoyed this installment of craziness um <laughs> that's stormy giving it a shake 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 and louis enjoying the other half I'm of the quilt feed the dogs now and make some tea for myself and then and then i'll be chillaxing in my bed with my quilt cover that fits the bed <laughs> tomorrow's friday it's my birthday Oh, birthday wishes. <laughs> Fifty freaking six. Still a baby. Have a great weekend if I don't catch you. But thank Pardon? you to new subscribers. If you've not subscribed already, do it. <laughs> Click the bell so you get notifications. And leave me a comment. If you can't be bothered, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Anything, you know in the comment section it all helps to boost the whatever rhythms algorithmy things i don't understand it all but um right i'm going out soppy soppy soddier is telling me it's past dinner time mum <laughs> have fun guys love you all bye say bye <laughs>